And I think it's worth pausing on the number of 120 lives lost in one explosion, quite staggering. 140 wounded, 13 of them children, 14 of them women. Now, this appeared to have occurred when a man managed to use ice to enshroud his explosives to bring his truck into the middle of a crowded outdoor market in the town uh, of Khan Bani Sad uh, in Diyala province. That's an area which ISIS is supposed to have been pushed out of, but clearly are still able to penetrate. Now, of course, he appears to have been offering uh, prices for the ice that were significantly lower than the market. And in this extraordinary heat in an area like Diyala, people, of course, would have rushed ahead of the Eid celebration that we're in right now uh, that began yesterday in earnest uh, to buy that ice and it was when that crowd of hundreds gathered around uh, that truck that he detonated the device killing all those people most of them Shiites of course as you know ISIS predominantly a Sunni extremist group targeting Shiites here in this grossly sectarian uh, war that's been raging now in Iraq for quite some time but particularly hitting a peak with ISIS activity right now and I think many are terrified this might be showing a switch towards the People used to call them spectacular bombings that al-Qaeda in Iraq are responsible almost 10 years ago now, trying to make sure the death tolls are what staggers rather than those gruesome videos we've been seeing of executions from ISIS uh, in the past months or so, Paula.